Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. This is an awesome game, as far as I can see. Uh, so, it came out yesterday, and I did a Let's Try stream of it for a couple of hours, and it seems really, really cool. It's basically Factorio Interstellar uh, Satisfactory thing. Uh, it's third person, but you're playing as a huge, really cool uh, robot, a mecha, and you can set up production lines, production chains on a ton of different planets. So you you have you start in one solar system, but there are tons of solar systems out there, and you need to set up uh, production chains on a lot of them. I've only been to one planet yet. Uh, so, for two and a half hours uh, of gameplay, more or less, I didn't get off the first planet. I, uh, I, well, I, I barely scratched, scratched the surface. Really, it, it seems so cool. And they do say that there's like uh, maybe a hundred hours of gameplay in it already, and it's early access. I mean, it came out yesterday in early access on Steam, and right now it's only like 18 euros or something. Uh, so yeah, uh, it is well worth your money if you enjoy games like Factorio and uh, Satisfactory and stuff like that. So yeah, really, really, really cool. So we are going to jump into a full Let's Play because I just can't help myself. It's too cool. It is too cool. And the goal of the game is to build a Dyson Sphere. Uh, and for those who don't know what a Dyson Sphere is. A Dyson Sphere is basically building a structure around a sun to absorb all of its energy. So you're building basically solar panels uh, all around a sun and absorbing all of the energy coming off the sun. So you're building a, a globe around the sun and absorbing all the energy. And this is needed for a new artificial intelligence that is going to take humanity to the next level. So let's jump into the game. New game. Our seed will be this, 93807622. We'll have 64 stars. We'll have a resource multiplier of one for each planet. So you, you can adjust this, right? Uh, but we will leave it at standard and we'll have these different kinds of planets i have no idea what the different uh, kinds of planets are what they mean uh, or uh, actually it's not planets it's stars so it's these different kinds of stars so we'll have a black hole we'll have two white dwarfs a neutron star an o type two 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 o type stars 21 b type stars etc etc and what that means i have no idea but we'll figure it out as we go along. And we'll be starting on Iota Bootis, uh, a G-type star. So there, uh, we have 13 G-type stars in the system. So we'll be starting in one of those called Iota Bootis. And let's start the game. And here we are. And we can move around. This is the introduction. Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland, should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time. I am your advisor, and will help you through this mission. Thank you. Look at that star, man. That is so cool. Oh, I love it. We are going to start on a planet around here somewhere. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Okay. So I guess we're going to Iota Bootis uh, 3. So let's head down there and see what we have to work with. So 
yeah, the, this game uh, just seems so awesome. I, I'm so excited. I am so excited. And while the plants look small here, now you are really about not. to reach the designated planet. All right, we are heading down to Iota Butus Three. Here we go. Very nice. All right, we've landed. Aha! This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. All right. So you we're... can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. Yeah. In the meantime, hold Can down shift and right click to give a series of commands. I don't know how you get you into receive Shut several up. items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. Okay, where's the inventory button there? All right, we have those things. Done. Here we have an iron resource. We have some oil. We have more iron and more iron. You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Yeah. Thank you. So we have stone up there. We have stone over there. We have stone over there. We have coal over there. I don't see any copper though. Copper is kind of important. Where is there some copper? Huh. Maybe over this way? You never know. But let's um, grab some trees while we're going. Yet copper. you have not unlocked the construction menu, which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. Yep. Alright, so let's research. So you can see here, the research tree is huge. So this is technologies. And... As far as I can tell, all of them come with new buildings and stuff like that. So, if we take electromagnetism, electromagnetism which will be our first resource, research, it's the only one that we can do, uh, that will give us wind turbines, Tesla towers, and a mining machine. So, and then the next one, well, this one, will give us a matrix lab and electromagnetic matrices, which is what uh, we use for research. Then we have smelters, we have uh, conveyor belts, sorters and storage. We have uh, assemblers. So it all comes with new stuff. And look at that, look at that tree. It's so cool. And that's not the only tree. Then we have upgrades. This is upgrades to our mecha. So we have universe exploration, we have the mecha, and we have, uh, what's this? And this is also, I, I think this is for the mecha too, but I'm not sure. I haven't gotten that far. Man, so much to research, it's wonderful. It is absolutely wonderful. Uh, it will be more wonderful if we can find some copper. And I don't see any. Where the heck is there some copper? Is that copper up there? No. There's copper. We have copper there. Okay. It's kind of far away from the iron 
But maybe there's iron up here too. That would be nice. So we have copper there, there's iron there. Alright, so this up here seems like a good area. Copper, iron. Alright, so I guess this is where we are starting. Yeah. Alright, well, for starters, let's uh, get this uh, research going. So, for that we need 10 magnetic coils, which we can make. Because magnetic coils take uh, copper ingots and they take uh, magnets. We have 10 magnets, we have 10 copper ingots. So, and they will produce two of them. So, let's produce 10. We said it's five, which produces ten. And now we're researching directly from our inventory. And we can also open up our mecha here, and we can stick in the fuel that we grab. So logs, plant fuel, and organic crystal. As you can see, we have a battery down here, uh, which is currently going up quite rapidly, because we have fuel in the chamber to uh, refuel us. So that is nice. And the hydrogen fuel rods we can stick in as well. So we have 33, uh, 331 megajoules of power in the fuel. And you can see it's going up very rapidly here, our, um, our battery. All right, so the first research is you complete. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. So we have our construction menu down here. So we can start by sticking in. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. Yeah, so while there is a grid, you can see here there's a grid. But we can rotate this off the grid and kind of get the most efficient placement. So, one, two, three, four, five veins. One, two, three, four, five, six veins. Can't get both of them. I think I'll do the five veins. So there. Our first miner is down, and then we need to power it. And for that we have wind turbines right now. So we'll stick a wind turbine in here. And now this wind is turbine. mining. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. So we can grab a Tesla tower and we can stick that down and create a new power area that is being fed by that wind turbine. So, but we don't need to do that right now. What we do need to do is we need to make some more wind turbines. Uh, at least one more. And we need to make another miner. So we'll make one each of those. And then I think we'll make three uh, Tesla towers. Because we are going to need them. In the meantime, we can take a look at our research tree. And we could go for an upgrade right away. Uh, so here we have the universe exploration. Which takes 10 of these electromagnetic matrices. Which we can't make yet. Uh, but that would allow us to view all the veins on the planet. But right now, I think I want to go with techs because I want basic logistics. Activate that. Then that, that'll give us uh, conveyor belts, sorters, and storage. Then the next thing I want is metallurgy, then basic assembling, and then electromagnetic matrix. That is the order that I wanted in. So we can actually go ahead and queue it up. So we'll queue that. 
we will include that and we'll include that. Okay. Now we have another miner. So let's stick that down over here on the copper. And let's see. How efficient can we make this? That's a pretty good pra placement there. Getting seven of the nodes. So that's what we're doing. Then we'll stick down some power for it. There. Actually, you know what? Let's deconstruct that. And stick the power down here. Okay. So now we're getting copper ore as well. And you can actually grab from these from quite far away. So now we have a lot of ores on us. And that means that we can make, let's see, 10 of those. We need 10 of those. So this will create two of them. So we'll produce 10 and get 20. Uh, so that takes iron ingots and copper ingots. Then I'm pretty sure we're going to need some more electromagnetic coils. So let's get some of those. And let's uh, get out of the construction menu. And we'll just grab some of these trees while we're going. Because we'll be spending quite a bit of power, I think. And let's get that fuel in there. Okay. Very good. We are researching, so that is nice. And we can grab some more copper ore. We can grab some more iron ore. And we are almost done with the first research. Well, second research. There we go. Basic logistics system is done. So we have conveyors, sorters, and storage. Very nice. You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Okay. I think we'll build our... kind of bus up this way. So we have 20 conveyor belts now. We need to make a lot more of them. So let's do that. We need more sorters as well. Let's do that. We have three smelters now. We're going to need more smelters as well, which we need stone for. So let's grab some stone. Okay. And that's all going while we're going around picking all this stuff up. So now we can produce three of them. Let's see, still three. Well, we'll just queue up those three. Okay. Now we're missing some materials to make more. Okay, so now we can produce another five. Let's produce another five. And then we need gears and circuits. So gears, we can only produce six. That means we don't have enough iron. Let's grab some iron. Let's 
grab some copper. And now we can queue up 10 gears. And we can queue up, uh, let's queue up another 20 circuits. That'll give us the stuff for the next research. Very good. Very, very good indeed. All right. So we have some belts now. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad zero to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Okay. So let's get some conveyor belts going. Uh, let's see, we'll probably have... So you can come in here. All right. And our little drone buddies here that are flying around, they will build all this for us if they're in range. But they have quite a long range, but they do cost power. So they do cost core energy. And we need to be a little bit careful about that. So, and of course, they're faster the closer you are to what they're building. There. Let's move down here. And soon we'll have ore going out of here. Now, the belts, they will move six items a second. And this is producing at 150 a minute. So, what would that be a second? 150 divided by 60? What's that? Uh, so, 150 divided by 10 is 15. Uh, divided by 6. So, just under... Oh, it's not even 6. And we can see that because there's a gap in between. So we could set up another miner to go on the same belt. And this is doing 128.6 a minute. So we can definitely set up another miner there as well to go on to the same belt. So let's see. Uh, buildings, miners. We can produce two. Let's do that. And where are we? We're making the smelters now. And then we'll make the research stuff. Okay. Uh, I think we need some power. Let's quickly grab some trees. You can see our mega jewels are going down at the moment. We have been doing a lot, so understandable we can even grab these plants uh, the bushes and the flowers and stuff all righty that should be quite a bit of fuel for us yeah, don't even have room for that. We even got some oil, some crude oil. Don't know where we got that from. But we have quite a bit of energy in our uh, fuel chamber. All right, so let's set up smelters. Now, the smelters smelt uh, one a second, at least for the copper and the iron so we can set up one two you three, built a smelter which four, can smelt basic five, materials six. such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically while you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously you need to use sorters and conveyor belts yep I am aware. You can now click the planet thumbnail button in the lower left corner of the screen or press the M key to try the planet view mode 
The sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. Okay. So we don't have that much belt left. I spent all of it. Uh, and we can't really produce that much. So let's go grab... And now we're researching. Very nice. Let's go grab some more iron. I think we have enough copper. Yeah, we have more than enough copper right now. All right, so that was our assembler done. We need more, uh, we need more magnetic coils. So let's produce 10 of those. Then we'll produce 10 of those. That gives us 30, but that is in no way enough. So let's grab some more iron. And how many smelters do we have here? Only five. We need more. Five. Uh, we need more smelters. Uh, we can build five more, so let's do that. And the next thing that we're researching is... What? Uh, the uh, electromagnetic matrix. Okay. Good, good. Well, let's produce 20 of those. Grab some more iron. So we can see that we have 155,000 iron available to this miner. So this is finite resources. It's not like you can just. Uh, tap in and then it'll keep going. So there is a limited amount of resources. All right, electromagnetic matrix is done. So now we can start automating research as well. Well, as well, I say, we haven't re really automated anything yet. Uh, let's see, how can we cover here? I think we, we're gonna need one there. You have done building the first power transmission facility, one there. Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. We need some more uh, wind turbines. Okay, so here we can select uh, Iron ingots, and we can. After selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe, and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. So I don't know where my less than and greater than keys are on this keyboard because I'm on a Danish keyboard. Uh, and you can't customize oops, the key bindings just yet. That has not been implemented yet. Uh, but we will select some recipes here. And as you can see, we are definitely not producing enough power. Nowhere near enough power. Nowhere near enough power. So I think we don't have more power yet. Uh, we're still making smelters. Oh man, let's do that. And then we can do these. Because so we need those wind turbines. So this will take a little bit, but we can stick down another Smelter here, there we go. Then we can stick in these. Now we have no power whatsoever, uh, basically. We're going to need more sorters as well because right now we're loading it in, but we're not even taking it out yet.
there. Okay, let's grab some iron. So these guys don't have power at the moment. We are out of Tesla towers as well. So we're gonna need some of those. All right, wind will be coming soon. Oh, and sunrise will be coming soon as well. Well, we're in the dark now, but here it comes. That is pretty. That is pretty. I wonder, is it gonna go away again? Behind the, well, it will go, go away behind the planet there. And then I guess we'll have a second sunrise once it goes on the other side. So yeah, it's gonna go away here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going away. That is pretty darn cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're basically on a moon uh, of this uh, Iota Buddhist 2 gas giant. All right, do we have our wind turbines? We do. All right, so let's build a bit of a wind farm. So if we build a bit of a wind farm here, we can just extend the range with the Tesla Towers. No, oh, we don't have any more, okay. But that should help out. And we need the Tesla Towers. We are done with the research though. So from now on, we need this stuff, electromagnetic matrices for all our uh, research, except for the mecha core here where we need 20 and 20. So let's activate that. So that'll give us an extra 40 megajoules of core energy, which I kind of like. So grab that. And you're hard up for power <laughs> no power and that's because it's all being drained it is all being drained but soon we'll have a Tesla tower so we can connect the two grids and all will be fine and dandy so we can stick down the next miner here One more. I guess it'll be like that. And then we can come out like that. Like that. And like that. So that'll get it going on to the same belt as the other one. And that, of course, will need a Tesla coil as well. And then we can stick in a Tesla there, and that'll power up everything. Very nice. We do need some more sorters, so let's produce another 10 of those. Let's produce another 20 of those. So now it's going, and if we look at our power grid, do we have enough power? No. Not even close. Not even close. So we need more of these bad boys as well. But as things stand, we can now just grab these so we don't have to handcraft those. Which is nice. I 
which is very, very nice. And now we can make 10 of them, so let's produce 10. And we can get some plate, uh, some copper ingots as well. Wonderful. And we can now start unloading onto our belt here. Now these sorters, they do take one and a half second per, uh, per grid. So they're not the fastest in the world, but we cannot get them upgraded. some yet? No, not yet. Okay, Mecha Core level 1. 40 millijoules of max core energy. Nice. So, next thing I really want is the mechanical frame. Uh, but we can't do that yet. We need, we need to get our We need to get our electromagnetic matrices going. Drive in, drive engine, and lock, unlock mecha flight. That sounds nice. That sounds very nice. Let's see, didn't I have? Yeah, I had some of you. Let's get you in. Whoops, in there. Alrighty. We have our. Oh, they're coming now. So while they build, let's stick down the second uh, copper miner. Like that. And get you going. Okay. And you need a... And we can stick down... Uh, wind turbine there. Alright. And then we can stick down some more wind turn turbines down here to get our power to a point where we're not running out. That's not good. Running out of power is not a good thing. Okay. There we go. That's a lot more power. So now we are generating 6 megawatts and we're consuming 1.9. All right, but that's because all of these are filled up. Okay. So, what's next? Next, we need to get uh, magnets going, which also take iron ore. So, what I am thinking, uh, we don't need that many magnets. We need two magnets for one magnetic coil. Okay. okay. What's next research-wise? Um, I think the next thing I want is improved logistics for the splitter and the sorter Mach 2. But for that we need the matrices. And we need that for everything now on the tech tree here. Yeah, we do. Oops. So we really need to make some assemblers. I need more than two. Okay. 
And... Let's make another three for now. Then we need matrix labs for sure. We can produce one of them now. We have smelters. We need some definitely need some conveyors. All right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what I think I'll do at least for now is probably run you up this way. I uh, don't know how far though. Because we need smelters. Actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's dismantle all this. And what I'll do is I'll put the smelters on here. Two smelters making electromagnetic coils or not ma electromagnetic coils just magnets just magnets and we will stick you in there we'll stick you in there and that has us making magnets and they can then be output and come up this way. And then we can output them. There we go. And that has us making magnets. Very nice. And then for the electromagnetic coils, we need magnets and copper pl uh, copper plate. I keep calling them copper plate, and I'll prob probably never stop, because that's what it's called in Factorio. Uh, so uh, I will always forget that these are called copper ingots and not copper plates. Uh, but we can easily get that going just by grabbing some copper ingots and Bringing them over here. Yeah. But we're gonna have to do it in the next one, guys, because we are out of time. We are out of time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.